I'm Julia. I'm Martina. And this is Clips Operatus. It was invented in 1844 to produce a modest amount of a certain type of gas, starting from a solid uh, reaction between a solid reactant and an acid. It's made of three round bottom flasks. On the second one, there is an opening closed by a rubber stopper connected to a tap and a rubber tube. It is used to produce carbon dioxide through the reaction between calcium carbonate and diluted hydrochloric acid. Calcium carbonate plus two moles of hydrochloric acid reacts to give calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide in gaseous state is the balanced reaction. Observing the reaction from a qualitative point of view, it is sufficient to put some calcium carbonate gravel into the second flask and pour one mole of hydrochloric acid from the top of the third flask until, through the tube, it comes into contact with the reactant, which, as said, is calcium carbonate. The immediate presence of effervescence proves a chemical reaction is occurring between the two reactants. To prove that the effervescence is connected to the production of carbon dioxide, it is necessary to open the tap and direct the gas through the tube into a cylinder. Since carbon dioxide's molecular weight is higher than the airs which we breathe, it collects into the cylinder without escaping. Since we're not able to see carbon dioxide, we can use the flame test. If we insert a lit candle in the cylinder, the flame will blow off because the, the carbon dioxide inhibits the combustion. After this, we close the tap, and in a short while we can observe the reaction stops. Why does this happen? This happens because the gas produced, which is carbon dioxide, in the system reactants to products, favors the reverse reaction, inhibiting the direct reaction till the achievement of the new balance. In fact, reopening the tap and letting the produced CO2 out, the reaction restarts and goes on until one of the reactants runs out. In addition to the qualitative plants, to have also a quantitative overlook, it is necessary to use 40 grams of calcium carbonate and 0.2 moles of hydrochloric acid. A bowl of water and an upside down graded cylinder filled with water to connect the tap and the tube. When the chemical reaction will occur in the Kipps apparatus, CO2 will be produced and will be directed into the system. The CO2 will bubble up the graded cylinder, pushing out the water and causing the lowering of the meniscus. The perusal of the lowering of the meniscus between air and water as time goes by will allow to assess the variation of the produced volume of carbon dioxide over delta temperature and will allow to evaluate the speed of the reaction reactants to products and the reverse reaction till the induced balance using the state function delta G and Gibbs equation. We can now plot a carbon dioxide pressure over time graph and guess the reaction's course. 